Hi everyone! In this video, we will explore the topic of connections. How do you connect to your broker, to your data feed? What is the difference between them exactly? Let's begin with the data feeds, focusing on the ones DayTrader supports. Some futures brokers allow you to choose from different data feeds, such as CQG, Rhythmic or Gain. Others, like interactive brokers, add their own data feed. So in this case, your choices are limited, but more on that later. Then you have independent data feeds, such as IQ Feed. This subscription-based service provides market data without the need for a broker account. This is a good option for traders who want a backup data feed or specific data that other feeds don't have, but we will get into that later on also. Finally, there are two different types of data within the data feed. Level 1 and Level 2 data. Level 1 data, also known as the top of the book, only show the best bid and the best offer. Level 2 data, also known as the depth of book, shows all bids and offers in the market up to a certain limit depending on the data feed. DayTrader allows up to 100 levels of depth, but some feeds only offer 10 levels, so keep that in mind when choosing your data feed. So, when trading with DayTrader, Level 2 is mandatory for tools such as the Depth and Sales and the Auction Vista chart. So, make sure that when you open your broker account and select the data feed you want to use, subscribe to Level 2 data, because by default, this data type is not enabled on the broker side. Now that we have covered the basics of data feeds and data types, Let's move on to the DayTrader Connection Manager tool and see how to set up the connections. You open the Connection Manager tool by clicking on this button. Here we have some connections already created and connected at the same time, which we'll use later on. To create a new connection, just choose the data feed you want from the drop-down list. For example, let's choose a CQG account. We'll give the connection a name a description if we want, the username, the password, and the server type depending on whether it's a live or demo account. In this case, it's a demo account. We don't touch the parameters. To connect automatically when we launch DayTrader, we can enable the auto-connect option for each connection. We can also choose the sequence for auto-connecting when we have multiple connections. Then we click OK and our connection is ready. In this case, we already have it set, so we'll click on Cancel. The connection configuration is similar to most of the other feeds. For Interactive Broker customers, though, you will need some extra information. First, you'll need to open IBTWS platform so the trader can connect to it. Then, on its connection settings, you'll have to enter the host IP address, the port, and the client ID when used, which you can find on your TWS Global Configuration page. And lastly, going back to the drop-down list, I want to call your attention to the following three data feeds TT REST API, Stellar and Bitfinex. These connections are only for accessing trade history, not for trading. You connect to them so you can send your trades to our Journalytics platform so you can analyze your trades' performance. Now that you are connected to your data feed, you need to download the instruments before anything else. You do this by selecting the feed and clicking on Download Instruments. By default, you will download the latest expiry date contracts but you can go directly to the calendar and select the months from which you can download the contracts manually. For example, let's download next year's contracts also if they are already available. Down here, you have all the future markets available. And for those who have an Interactive Brokers account or an IQ Feed subscription, you can also download the US stocks for NYSC and NASDAQ. For those trading symbols like the YES and Q, ZN, 6E, CL, all these 
trade in one of the CME exchanges. So the best way to get real-time data for all of them would be to subscribe to the CME data bundle all brokers have available, which comes with a discount when compared to subscribe to each exchange separately. So to download all the instruments from the CME, you will need to select the CBOE, CBOT, CME, CMAT, COMEX and NIMAX. You can select three different modes to download the instruments. Update will add new symbols that are not in the database yet. Reload will delete and download the symbols again for the selected feed. And Refresh will delete all symbols from all feeds if you have multiple. And as you connect to each feed, you will need to download them again. You can also select what kind of instruments you want to download, stocks, futures or spreads. And you note here regarding spreads, you can only trade exchange traded spreads and only through CQG and Rhythmic. You can also create logs if you want to see what symbols were downloaded and rejected in a Excel sheet. And if Tradeovate is your broker, you can download expired contracts, so you can replay them by using the replay functionality. Let's enable those. Just click download and wait until it's done. Now that the download has ended, you can open any of the tools and load the symbols you want. Let's quickly open a depth and sales by clicking on this button. The symbol search opens where we select the connection. In this case, we will connect to Tradeovite. The instrument type will be futures. And when we write ESU, notice how we have contracts from previous years, meaning expired contracts. As mentioned earlier, Tradeovite customers can replay these contracts by using the replay functionality. We select this year's September contract, which is the current one being traded. The account number was automatically selected when we chose the connection. The session template was also automatically selected when we chose the symbol. And you can also choose a tick compression if you want. Click OK. You are now connected to your account. And let's open the trade window and place a couple of orders. So far, we have looked at direct connections, where DayTrader connects directly to the data feed. But we also have another type of connection called Bridge, which works with MT8 and MT5. This connection allows DayTrader to connect not to the data feed itself, but to the platform that provides access to that data feed. One of the benefits is that it can save you money. As an example, let's say you use CQG data feed and you want to connect to it NT8 or MT5 and DayTrader. To connect both platforms, you need to pay the exchange fees twice. Using the bridge, it counts as one connection, not two. Let's see how to set up this connection. First, let's start with DayTrader installation. During the installation process, when you get to this window, make sure you select either MT8 or MT5 depending on the platform you use. And while we are here, a quick note about the MT4 option. Like the TT REST API connection and the others that are only for accessing trade history data, the MT4 bridge connection is the same. You can load all your FX trade data to Journalytics so you can analyze your performance but you cannot trade FX instruments. After installing DayTrader, you can now open either MT8 or MT5. Let's start with MT8. And the first thing we need to do, besides connecting to the data feed, which we already have, is open a market analyzer, where we'll add all the symbols we want to access in DayTrader. Let's select a couple of ones. Now that we have our symbols, let's open the Columns option, select Indicator, and search for JT Connection, then click OK. This is very important. The JT Connection indicator must be added to the Market Analyzer window only. Do not add it to the charts. 
Notice that when the JT connection indicator was applied to the market analyzer, day trader started automatically. We can now access all the symbols in day trader. When using a bridge connection, we don't need to create a connection in the connection manager, nor do we need to download the symbols. We get all the information and data directly through the bridge connection. So let's open a depth and sales. In the search window, we click on the platform tab and we see our NT8 connection. When we click on the symbol drop down list, we can see all the symbols we added to the market analyzer and we choose the one we want. And unlike the direct connections, some things need to be selected manually. For example, the account, you might need to select your NT8 account if you have several journalytic SIM accounts or NT8 SIM accounts. Also, pay attention to the session template. The default session template for the bridge connections is the CBOT, which is fine if you are trading the 10-year note, but if you choose the yes, you will need to change the session template to CME if you want to see the profile for the whole day or CME indices if you want to reset the profile when the day session starts. Click OK and there you go. DayTrader is now connected to NT8 via bridge and you can start placing your orders. Let's now see how to connect to MT5 via bridge connection. In MT5 we need to open a chart for each symbol we want to use in DayTrader. In this example we have four charts and we need to add the JT Connection Expert Advisor to each of them. We go to the Navigator view, select the JT Connection Expert Advisor and drag it into the chart. We need to enable the Allow DLL imports and the Algo Trading if they are not yet enabled. You can see that as we add the JT Connection Expert Advisor to the charts, DayTrader opens automatically. Once we have the JT Connection Expert Advisor in all charts, we can use all four symbols in DayTrader. Like in NT8, we don't need to create a connection in the Connection Manager nor download the symbols for the bridge connection. We get all the information and data directly through the bridge. So let's open Adapt and Sales. In the search window, when we click on the Platform tab, we can see our MT5 connection there. When we click on the symbol drop down list, we can see all the symbols with the JT connection on. We select one of them. Afterward, make sure you select your MT5 account. Also, you need to choose the appropriate session template for the selected symbol since by default, the session template for the bridge connections is the CBOT. And in this particular case, since we selected CL, the session template will be the NYMEX. You can choose a tick compression if you want, click OK, and there you go. The trader is now connected to MT5, and you can start placing your orders. Let's go back to the Connection Manager and talk a bit more about Rhythmic. As you can see from the Rhythmic Connection settings, it is similar to the other feeds as we showed earlier, and if we connect as this, it will connect directly to Rhythmic. But there is an option called Login via RTrader Pro, which is a kind of a bridge connection that, like MT8 and MT5, allows multiple platforms to connect to the same data feed without incurring additional data fees. So let's disconnect it and enable it. Unlike NT8 or MT5 bridge connections, with Rhythmic you will always need to download the symbols as explained earlier even when connecting via RTrader Pro. To log in, you have to launch RTrader Pro first, make sure the Allow Plugins option is selected, click Login, and once RTrader is open, you can connect DayTrader. From now on, we will be connected via our Trader Pro connection. Let's open a depth and sales. In the local tab, we have our rhythmic connection. We select the symbol, click OK, and we are now connected to rhythmic via our Trader Pro and ready to place our orders. 
Just a final note here, for the days to load on startup option, you can select how many days of your trade history you want to download in case you want to send it to Journalytics platform. And the JX only option, it's for internal use only, so don't worry about it. Before we end this video, which is quite lengthy already, let's discuss connecting multiple data feeds simultaneously and some of the benefits that is when using a different data feed than your brokers. For example, let's look at interactive brokers. As we said before, IB has its own data feed, which has some drawbacks, such as only allowing three depth of markets at a time, although we can have two more depending on the commissions we pay per month, also, it can limit the amount of data we can request from the server, preventing us, for example, not being able sometimes to download the full volume profile data for the day or even creating footprint charts. This is where connecting to another data feed comes in handy. The setup is very simple. You can see that we are connected to IB and IQ feed. Let's open a depth and sales and choose IQ feed as the connection. Let's select ES and open it. Let's also open the trade window and select our IB account. The data we see here on the depth and sales is coming from IQ feed, but when we place the order, it is executed by IB. And this was just an example. Here's another one. You have two broker accounts, one with M futures and one with interactive brokers. Let's continue with them. If you want level two data on both accounts, you will have to pay the CME data fees twice, one for each. Some traders might need this in case one feed fails, but others might find it unnecessary. So they can just subscribe to level two data in M futures and use that feed in DayTrader when they want to place trades in IB. So here we have two depth and sales using the same data feed, in this case CQG, but linked to different broker accounts. When we place an order on the left side, the order is executed via M futures. When we place an order on the right side, the order is executed via IB. In summary, some considerations need to be made regarding the data feed and the type of data we need to subscribe to, but apart from that, it's super easy to create and manage multiple connections in DayTrader. If you have liked this video, leave a thumbs up, click on the bell to be notified when a new video is uploaded, subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you on the next video. Thank you.